Everybody is coming to pray now. As you can hear, the call to prayer up in the mosque. And I woke up smelling horrible and very hungry. So there's one thing I can do about the latter, and that's go back into the hustling and bustling part and find something to eat. What an amazing experience that was though. Who would have believed an Israeli Jew sleeping in a mosque in Ramallah? Muslim hospitality, nothing like it in the world. Nothing like it. What a beautiful sunset here in Ramallah behind me. I just wanted to take this moment to say that now that it's dark, the camera quality, the image quality is going to be a little less good. So I apologize. But if you want to help me get better equipment and have better night footage, there's going to be a link in my description to my Patreon where you can make small donations that really help keep this channel going help me get better equipment, travel to more remote locations. So yeah, let's keep going. Happy to announce that I've made my way back to the city center, despite the fact that my Israeli SIM card stopped working, so, working so I can't use the map and stuff. Now let's grab some falafel or something. Sorry, falafel? Yeah. How much for falafel? All right. Pieces? No, in pita. Pita, five shakes. Oh. One sandwich. Yeah, yeah. One? Yeah, one. Maybe later another, yeah? Thank you. This is also something that I've only seen in Asia. Never in Israel. I'm gonna take one of these so I can reuse it. That was some really good falafel, and it only cost five shekels which is about a third of the price of falafel in Israel. So now I'm gonna go and get some caffeine in my veins and then see what's what about the nightlife. By the way, when I asked the falafel guy for the Wi-Fi, he wrote in the password for me and he immediately saw my Hebrew keyboard. I hope he didn't notice, I don't know, but he was cool anyway. All right, let's bounce. All right, I'm gonna go find something, one more thing to eat because I'm not completely full yet. I didn't eat anything since the shawarma that I ate in Nablus. Oh, look at this. Uh, oh, so, sorry, sorry, sorry. I forgot. Oh, sorry. Come here, Sal. I just went to visit the Venezuelan dude that I met earlier that didn't want to be on camera. I asked him about all the places for nightlife where I should go later on. So in about an hour or two, I'm gonna go there. For now, I'm gonna get some caffeine in my veins. There's a cafe called La Vida over here. Do you speak English? Why is it called La Vida? La Vida is in Spanish, yeah? The owner is Spanish? Speak Spanish? No. Yes. Yes? Very cool cafe. The coffee looks good. I have yet to try it. You know what? I'll try it right now. I went for a cappuccino because I've had so much strong Arabic coffee. Oh, good stuff. Even when it's a cappuccino, they know what they're doing here in Palestine. Over here on the table, we've got pictures before 1948, if I'm not wrong, of the old cities. Old city of Jaffa, old city of Hebron, Acre. See, I think that says 1937 in Arabic letters they have a special not just a special alphabet but they have a special way of writing numbers so yeah it's the cities before it became before they became part of israel modern day israel 1937 what does it say 1948. oh 1948 yes. so this is like when it became this yeah this is Akko, but like this is the day that the israelis took it 1948 yes right and uh, this also, everything 1948 or what? Okay, this is Jaffa. Yeah, this is Jaffa. Uh, Jodil. I know, but like what year? This is before the Israelis took it, right? 1948. Yeah, everything, yeah. This is Jerusalem, 1942. 42, I see here. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yeah. Okay, thank you. So the most embarrassing thing just happened. The dude that showed me the pictures 
which year they were taken in, asked for my YouTube channel promptly afterwards. And the first video that he saw says Israeli Jew in the title. And I was like, <laughs> and I just lied to him that I'm from Britain. But he didn't seem to mind, so whatever. He was just like, Kif Palestine, like, how's Palestine? I was like, great. <laughs> also, I forgot to mention, he literally read out the title. Israeli Jew and Ru Russian girl and Israeli Jew share stories from Vietnam. And then he looked at me like, British, huh? <laughs> but it's all good, he's good, I think. The first video you saw in my channel, you read the title. <laughs> I'm sorry I lied to no, you. Don't yeah. worry. But you know why I lie, right? Yes. Because for my safety. Nice to meet you, Johnny. Nice to meet you. Do you know my Instagram? Yeah. Johnny? No, that's uh, my YouTube name. Is Johnny is my fake name. I use it so people don't know I'm Yahoo, you know? Mm -hmm. yes. Yeah. My real name is uh, Ido. Ido? Ido. Ido? Yeah. Jewish names. All right, so I've got the list of clubs and bars here on a piece of paper given to me by my clandestine Venezuelan amigo. Now we're gonna go to the first one on the list. It's called Level 5. It's a 15 minute walk away from here. Let's go see what it's like. I don't really know what to expect, but I guess it's gonna be like nightlife anywhere else in the world. But I'm still pretty excited to check it out. Oh, and I really hope that it's going to be until late because I'm pulling an all-nighter tonight. I don't really have much of a choice. Oh, you're American? You sound American? Yes. No, I live here. Oh, okay, she cool. Lives here, but I'm American. Yeah. But I've been here. Okay, cool. Um, Where are you from? Um, Israel. Yeah, I don't tell. Anyway, <laughs> I'm. I want to like see the nightlife. You know. Where should I go? I don't know, and honestly, I cannot help you. It's so you. Okay. We're just we're Palestinian, and I'm maybe Palestinian. Uh -huh. I don't know. You came here, so you probably should know where you want to go. So you should be very careful. Yeah, I'm careful. I don't tell just anyone. You guys are Amer you're American, so yeah. I felt. But I'm not sure, honestly, because I don't live here. So yeah. yeah. Okay, guys. Cheers. Those girls were really keen to chat. That's why I said I'm from Israel. So. Even if they're harmless girls, I'm just not gonna say it because uh, people have an attitude, which is understandable, yeah? Yeah. <laughs> you know uh, Level 5 Club? Yes. Where? Keep straight. Then uh, you will see Shami building. Okay. It's the fifth floor. My Israeli SIM card stopped working again. So I lost my map. So I have to ask people again. I don't know, it's working on and off. It's really weird. Okay, I think this is the Shawia building that they talked about. Let's head to floor number five and hope that shit's popping. Yeah? Yeah, yeah, I'd love that. Oh. <laughs> okay, so basically, you. Uh, you go up. Yeah. You take a right. And there are some stairs here. All right, yeah. Okay, can you see them? Yeah, yeah. You go up to the elevator and fight, basically. <laughs> okay, thank you. <laughs> have a nice night. Thank you. You too. Yeah, well, you have a very good English accent. Thank you. You're Palestinian? Huh? Are you Palestinian? Yeah, but it's very, very well. <laughs> oh, good. <laughs> okay. Thank you. Thank you. Bye-bye. Bye. Moment of truth. Oh, I feel so stupid talking to myself in an elevator. <laughs> so this isn't exactly what I was hoping for. It's more of like a bar, but whatever. I'll take a beer and I'll ask the dude where I can go for a real party. I'll, I'll, uh, I didn't start yet, yeah, my channel, yet. Right. but now I'm like making my first videos about Palestine. Yeah. That's good. The nightlife of Palestine. Exactly, yeah. Today it's the nightlife. Not today. No, I mean to the video good, today. A good video for nightlife in Palestine in general. You have to come Thursday. Thursday? Yeah. Oh, because Friday is the day of rest. That's and tomorrow good. people work. Of course. Yeah. It's gonna be full of people, party, DJ, 
alcohol. I guess I'll come back to Ramallah on uh, Thursday. Yeah, you have to. Yeah. yeah. But today, is there any place I can go right. for nightlife, like real party or just bars? Uh, only bars. Only bars today. Yeah. Because tomorrow everybody goes to work. Yeah, yeah. You are Christian, I see. Yeah. So it's not a problem for you to work with alcohol, right? No, no problem. Yeah. So we have some Muslims uh, work with alcohol, no problem. Yeah, I understand. Yeah. Not all of them. Secular. Yeah. Yeah. You lived in UAE? Yeah. How long? Two years. Two years. Yeah. I work there. Mm. I'm a marketing uh, specialist. My work, especially in social media, yeah. graphic designs, that's it. I once read online that sometimes people from, like Jews, come from Israel to here. Jews? To, no. to party. No. It's not true? No, no, no. Just the Palestinian Israel. Palestinian who lives there? Who live there, yeah. yeah. Not Jews. Never Jews, yeah? No way. Yeah. Do you think it's safe for a Jew to come here? Or not? And the situation we live here? Yeah. I don't think so. Don't think so, yeah. right. Yeah. If they know they are Jews, yeah. I think there's a problem. Yeah, I understand. But if they speak Arabic... Uh, oh, like if they go undercover, they pretend they're not Jewish. That's like that, right. yeah. 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 But, Almost, almost all the people from you have to say the Palestinian territories, yes, down there, they are also Palestinians. Yes, they say we are Palestinians, we are not Israel. I'm asking you because I've seen many cars today with yellow license plates. Yeah, so these are Palestinian Israelis, not Jews. Yeah, who, who came here, yeah, with the yellow plate on the cars, yes, they also, only Palestinian yeah, Israelis, they also live here, yeah. Oh, they, really? Yeah, they have two two houses, one in Jerusalem, one in uh, Jaffa, but they also live here. I see. Because they consider themselves as a Palestinian. Have you been on that side? Yeah, I have cousins that live there. Oh, so you visit them, yeah? Yeah, of course. And when I you have, go... I have a permission. Oh. I have to take permission because mm. I have a Palestinian ID. Is it hard to get the permission or is it easy? Uh, in the situation of COVID-19, uh, they don't give... Uh, Mm. Too much permissions. But before two years, three years before the pandemic, yeah. uh, the church gave us permission for six months. Oh, because for you're the, Christian, yeah. Yeah, for the Christians. Yeah. Also, and uh, also, when you go anyway, are the soldiers giving you problems or not so much? We have to go to the checkpoints. Yeah, and the soldiers, like, I've heard that the soldiers can be aggressive sometimes. Sometimes, with... yeah. Yeah. Have you yeah. had any bad experiences? Uh, for real, yes. With yeah. my family. There's a checkpoint in yeah. Bethlehem and Jerusalem. Uh, this uh, from seven to eight years ago. Uh, yeah. They were very tough. They take all of the clothes. Because so, so something uh, ding ding ding. Yeah. We look normal people, we go to with bees. They say, no, go back. Put down your shoes, put down your shirt. There's something. Two years ago, I went to Bethlehem mm -hmm. to the Christmas tree yes. with my cousins. At the checkpoint between Ramallah and Bethlehem, they stopped us. Yes. Uh, my cousin is married to, with his kids. Uh, they stopped the car. He told me to give the ID. I told him why. Because of your beard. What? <laughs> what are you saying? He checked the... Uh, this is an Israeli soldier, yes? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Between mm. Bethlehem and Ramallah, there's a checkpoint called Container. He checked the, uh, the ID, uh, yeah, you're a Christian, you're going to the Christmas tree, and uh, everybody will have fun. Yeah. After he stopped me. Well, why do you stop me? Because of my beard? Yeah, yeah. But that's the reason. Do you still live in Palestine by choice? Or if you had a choice, you would go to UAE again? I live, I work here, I live here. You love it here? Yeah, of course. But if I, if I have a good opportunity outside, I will go. Not for, not I'm loving Palestine, because the opportunity. If like, you would want to resolve the conflict, uh -huh. what would be the best resolution in your opinion? I mean, two states. That's, that's a hard question. If you can say 50-50, yeah. because we live here, they live there. Yeah. There's a conflict between us. Of course, yeah. Why we don't make a peace? Sometimes you have some conflicts. Yeah. Uh, the uh, Israeli soldiers came at night. They take uh, some... Uh, Here, in Ramallah. Ramallah. 
the, the people who they need. Mm -hmm. They call them dirigibles. And you can say every place in West Bank, it's not safe. Ramallah, Nablus, Tulkarim, Bethlehem, Duba, uh, every, every state in West Bank. Yeah. It's not safe. When he asked for my YouTube channel this time, I told him that I didn't open the channel yet and I'm just starting to work on it because I didn't want him to, you know, the same thing that happened with the last guy. And then he asked for my Instagram, so I quickly got rid of the links to my YouTube channel and then I gave it to him. The dude that I just interviewed, the bartender, gave me a list of a myriad of, myriad of places to go, but he said that they're all going to be closed because people are working tomorrow and I should come back on a Thursday, the day before Friday, their, night, their day of rest. So I guess that's precisely what I'm going to do. I can't pull an all-nighter if everything's about to close, so I'm going to try and make my way back to Jerusalem, somewhere in Israel. I don't know if I'll work it out. It's currently 12.30 p.m.